Welcome to a uh, SNG Quickie. Yeah, where have I been? Mary says I'm becoming invisible. I'm just not doing that much to capture your attention anymore. Well, that's because we're really busy. We're busy, okay? We're real busy. We're, we're working with Andrew Probert. If you don't know who he is, do a Google search. Uh, he's my friend. But also, he's the guy that designed the Enterprise D, the refit for Star Trek The Motion Picture, uh, the Back to the Future car, Cylons, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Besides all that, he's a real cool guy, and he's now producer on our movie, Star Voyager, which we are getting closer to telling you about because we're working on a website and we've got a forum, that's right, an SNG studio forum that is predominantly for us to work secretively on the project, but also it's going to be a forum that you can populate and show your work and also we'll be telling you all the time a special section where we'll be telling you what's going on with the movie up until the point where we get our our uh, crowdfunding campaign going we're, we're talking to different actors and actresses and we are working with paul gentry and tom piedmont and all kinds of people besides andrew uh tobias uh you'll know him for his wonderful uh cgi has joined our team uh, and has taken an interest in it, read my script, and so we are really moving forward on all this and I'm very excited about it. At the same time, I'm working on our first video on demand uh, video that will cost, sorry, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be $1.90. And what I'm doing is not breaking a model build into a whole bunch of different parts. I'm going to show you an entire build from the very time it comes out of the box or out of the molds to the time it's finished. So when you pay to watch one video, you get the whole thing and you can watch it for several days and record all the information you need and everything. And uh, that's how it's going to work. And you can go to Patreon and you can uh, subscribe and that's monthly. So if you thought, oh, I'll pledge $100, that's $100 a month. You don't have to do $100 a month. We'd love it if you did, but $3 a month will gain you access to all our videos and all the pay stuff that we have on SNG. So uh, you can pledge as much as you want per month, but it's basically a, a subscription or, and uh, you will be able to watch our content and have access to it. So I'm going to show you a little bit of Stargazer. Uh, I've been working like mad on it and I've documented every single part of it and you can see all the windows that have gone in and uh, things are just hot glued together right now because I have to take apart everything. I have to diffuse these more uh, because these nacelles are on their side uh, and you don't see them from an angle like this you don't get that. You see the source so I want to get rid of that. Uh, we've got, and I will get rid of this bloody skylight by doing this. You can see how well the registry light lights that up. Uh, there are things that are not altogether canon on this model, uh, but then again, I've been looking at um, the actual show when it was called the Lexington and some other model it, it became. Uh, it was always different, so I'm taking my own shot on this. There were strobes blinking right there, there on the bottom down here too, somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here. No, you'll, you'll get the idea. I can't get under there. Uh, we have the these lit up down there, which I don't know if those are lit up or not, but they are on this one. So, uh, and we got, uh, of course, the uh, the bridge lights around the edge lit up. Um, I am not lighting up the uh, the intakes on this. Some people did, made them red, glow. They weren't in the show. Um, they're just, I'm just gonna have the blue here. I'm not gonna light up the domes that go on the sides because they didn't on their model. Uh, and I don't have a clear part for that. But I show you how I made these clear parts, vacuuming them. I show you every single step of how I did the lighting and everything on this model. And we're gonna go all the way to completion. On, oh, there's that strobe. Okay. And we're gonna go all the way to completion on this model uh, and show you the finished model uh, in the video. So uh, I love it when I just kind of shadow it a bit from that darn skylight. It's, it's really a pain. I gotta get up on the roof and somehow 
block that darn thing. But she's a beautiful model, and uh, the man who made this has asked me not to reveal his name uh, at present. If he changes his mind, and he might, then I'll tell you where, because he's considering making more of them. These are vacuform, and uh, I just been having a ball working on it. So we are busy here, and we are doing some really cool model work and stuff. Um, also, oh, yes, also, I need to turn lights back on. And even with the lights on. You can see the lights clearly. Now, I have not put in the windows yet, uh, the diffusion behind them to make them uh, less sourcing, but uh, it shows up pretty good. As soon as that model is done, we're going to get back to the Enterprise, but uh, our, next, our next video on demand is going to be this phaser. Now, you can see how beautifully this cleaned up from what it was. Uh, this is an original phaser casting from the original molds for Star Trek The Next Generation. This is a season two, I believe, phaser. Uh, we also got hold of one of the original. Uh, this is one of the actual ones given to me by one of the prop people, uh, unpainted, from the show. Uh, but uh, this is going to be fully lighted and activated. And anyone who uh, subscribes on Patreon will get uh, one of these if they uh, pledge or subscribe for $100 or more. We were going to get a fully lighted phaser and we're going to offer some other stuff too. Uh, maybe this Romulan uh, phaser. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm going to finally, finally have the uh, blasters from Forbidden Planet also. Uh, so you might get one of those. So there's going to be some interesting things offered, offered as perks to be a Patreon subscriber. And Mary, uh, I'm going to do another one soon, but this is Mary's uh, Butterfly Nebula painting that she's been working on, and it's beautiful, and it, you can see it's in two pieces on in the canvas, and I really love that style. Uh, of course, the camera's kind of overexposing the whole thing. It's very beautiful. I love it. I love her, her impressionistic uh, space paintings very, very much. Uh, we're going to see more from Mary as she does more. Uh, I'm not sure. Did I show you the colliding galaxies? Let's go see. Okay, we're going to get Mary to tell you about this one because she's got it up on the computer. Mary. Well, these, these shape-shifting galaxies have taken on the form of a giant mask. The icy blue eyes are actually the cores of two merging galaxies called NGC 2207 and IC 2163. And the mask is their spiral arms. And thank you, Mary, for telling us that rather long name of your painting. That's one's going to be hard to uh, <laughs> to tell people at a gallery, but we love it. Uh, well, um, that's going to be it for this uh, quickie. And uh, we'll do our regular show next week, which will be a little bit longer. And very, very soon, you will have the uh, video on demand uh, videos. Um, I want to say thanks, as always, to all of you who have been supporting. A lot of you have been joining uh, Patreon, and we really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of $3, a lot of $25, and uh, uh, we haven't pushed hard for it, and you've just been doing it because you love what we do here, and you're a supporter of what we do. We really love you for that. Thank you so much. Keep it coming, and we'll see you next week.